morning and happy Friday to you. We have made it to the end of the week and we thank you for waking up with us this morning. I'm Patrick McKee. Jenna Zipton is off this morning. We are starting off. It looks like on the dry side this morning, which is probably going to change though. We'll give you a live look as we get ready for some high school football games tonight. Take you to Bassett High School in Henry County, where it sounds like there they are. The, uh, the Bengals band. Let's listen in here for a second. winning band there. We're going to hear more from them coming up. And Aaron Brookshire as she previews tonight's game. It's 507 now and football season is here. And despite calls for rainy weather tonight, our first and 10 kickoff continues this morning as we make a stop at Bassett High School in Henry County, a school we first stopped at during first and 10 kickoff last year. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire. She is there with for us this morning with the band playing quite loudly back behind. Aaron, good morning to you. Good morning, Patrick. Yeah, the threat of rain is not stopping these students from coming out here. You can see we have the band, we have the drum line playing for us right now, and they sound amazing. The cheerleaders here as well this morning. Now joining us now to talk about this morning's Fed Rally is Principal Gibbs. There are so many students out here. You said more are coming, right? Oh, it's great. The uh, band's here, over 100 members, cheerleaders. Uh, we're expecting our football players, and we have a great 12th man, so they'll be here a little later on in the morning. But it's an exciting day, and we appreciate WSLS coming out with their kickoff show. Well, thank you so much for having us, and talk about the excitement for this new football season. I mean, what's it been like in the hallway? Well, it's a lot of excitement. we got a new football coach, Brandon Johnson. Uh, he brings a lot of excitement to Bassett grad. Uh, we had a tough game last week. We played great against a very good team. A little bit short, but hope this quick against Dan River will be a different story. And I know our kids are excited, and uh, to have this many people here in the morning, you know there's a lot of excitement here in Bassett High School. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. We'll be checking back in with you and some of the other students throughout the morning here at Bassett High School. As Principal Gibbs mentioned, some other students, the fan section as well, some football players, all expected to be here this morning, Patrick. So we'll continue checking in with them and bringing you the latest ahead of tonight's game. And Aaron, are they still expected to play that game tonight with the threat of rain in the forecast? With the threat of rain in the forecast, there is a chance they could postpone it. That's a decision that will be made early this morning. So we will, of course, at WSLS continue to follow this game, other games across the region, and keep you updated on the games that will be played and the games that are postponed as well. All right, Aaron Brookshire live for us in Henry County this morning. Aaron, we'll see you again coming up at 530. WSLS 10. And we're live in Henry County this morning. We are at Bassett High School where a ton of students are out here. We have hundreds of band members already. The cheerleaders, the football players are starting to show up. So coming up throughout the morning, we'll be checking in with all of these students, giving you an update ahead of tonight's game and a look at what you can expect all season long. Coming up in the next half hour. All season is finally here. And the original first and 10 kickoff continues this morning with a stop at Bassett High School in Henry County. The Bassett Bengals are preparing to take on Dan River. And that's where we find WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire this morning. So Aaron, a lot of excitement there. It should be a great night as long as the weather holds out. Yes, and hopefully the weather does hold up. We've got a lot of students out here early this morning. You can hear the cheerleaders behind me getting excited. We're also joined by the head football coach, Coach Johnson. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. So you actually played at Bassett High School. What's it like being back here? It's an unbelievable feeling, you know, just coming back home, being able to be the head football coach. Dream, dream job of mine, and I'm just living in a dream world right now. That is great. Congratulations to you on that as well. So talk about what we can expect this season. Uh, you can expect a hard-working football team, a team that's never going to quit. They have a never die attitude. They've been working hard and I'm just hoping to instill some excitement back into Bass. Awesome. Well, thank you so much and good luck to you tonight. We'll be checking in with you throughout the morning. Now we want to check in with some of the cheerleaders. They've been up early this morning getting everybody excited. So good morning to you girls. How are you? Good. All right. So talk about what it's like on Friday night. What is the best part about being out in the stands in front of everybody? How we have an amazing student section. They always support us and they have a lot of spirit and how we have the band to join us and have lots of music and it's really great to be out in all the lights. Yeah, it is. And the band has been sounding great great this morning so you guys are up bright and early a lot of time between now and the game what all do you guys have to get done between now and then well we really focus on our student section and so we make a lot of special posters and make sure that we get them hyped up and just before the games we always do a lot of bonding and just spending time together while we get ready and eat 
And like before, we always get in a circle and say a good thing about each other. So we're always like really close and ready to perform our best. That's really nice. That's super uplifting. And then finally, just talk about what it's like. We mentioned you guys up at five o'clock this morning. Most of you earlier to get up and get ready. What's that been like? Um, it was hard to wake up in the morning, but as we got here, we all came together and every all the spirit here is just amazing, a good vibes. It's just a really great morning. Everybody's all up in a way. Wait, Ready now. to go. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much. And you guys have fun tonight. We'll be checking back in with you as well. Patrick, the football players starting to arrive. Some of the student section starting to arrive as well. So we'll have more on all of that coming up in the next hour. And Aaron, you and I both were married to um, Bengals graduates. They seem very excited about their new head coach and prospects for the, uh, the next several years of this football team. Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody's excited about the new head coach, what he is bringing here to Bassett High School. The first game last week, and I'm sure everyone's looking forward to what we can expect this week as well. All right. Aaron Brooks, our live for us in Henry County this morning. Thank you, Aaron. We are live in Henry County at Bassett High School this morning. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll be checking in with the band. Look how many band members are here. We've been hearing from them all morning. We'll be checking in with the cheerleaders as well. But Patrick, what I really want to show you is just how many football players have shown up in the past few minutes. And what's really amazing as well, the crowd, which has gone crazy. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more here from Bassett High School. Work week, we are preparing for some high school football action tonight. Live look for you, Bassett High School in Henry County preparing for tonight's game. The band is playing a huge band there. Let's listen in for a second. Boy, what a student section has shown up for us for this morning. Erin Brookshire is there live. We're going to check in with her in just a few minutes, but we want to see what the weather is going to be like for those football games that are still on tonight. Jonathan Kegas in the Weather Center helping you plan your day. 6.07 now and football season is here. And despite calls for rainy weather tonight, our first in 10 kickoff continues this morning as we make a stop at Bassett High School in Henry County, a school we first stopped at during the first in 10 kickoff last year. And that's where we find WSLS 10's Erin Brookshire. She is live with quite a crowd this morning. Erin, good morning to you. Bassett from last year and they were an energetic group then. They seem much more energetic this year. Yes, they have been going crazy. Let me tell you, every time I turn around, the mascots photo bombing us. I'm surprised he's not behind me right now. The student section has been going wild. So we will definitely be checking in with them, keeping that energy up all morning long. And let's just hope they can keep it going for tonight's game as well. I'm sure they'll find a way to do it. Aaron Brooks, our live force in Henry County this morning. Thank you, Aaron. Friday night football. Football season is finally here and the original first and 10 kickoff continues this morning with a stop at Bassett High School in Henry County. 
The Bengals, they're preparing to take on Dan River. WS Lesson's Aaron Bookshire, she is there this morning with a very excited crowd. Aaron, good morning to you. Good morning, Patrick. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for. We are here with the football team. Good morning, guys. They are excited ahead of tonight's game, and we want to check in with a couple of the players. Here we have Noah and Seven. Good morning to you guys. Okay, so talk about this season. What's it like having a new coach? How's Coach Johnson been? Say that again. I said talk about the excitement with your new head coach, Coach Johnson, this year. Oh, uh, it's, it's a lot of excitement. Uh, he brings a lot of energy to everybody, not just me and Noah, but everybody on the team. And uh, I'm very excited to get started. And then talk about, too, what's your favorite part of Friday night? Friday night, so all this around here, all the intensity about it, you know, the school, everybody gets around it and have a good time. And the excitement is, I mean, crazy in here. You can hear the student section. You can hear the band going crazy. So let's check in with Coach Johnson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So talk about this is your first year as head coach. What's that been like? It's been an amazing experience to come back home, get the coach at the school I graduated from, and I'm just trying to enjoy the moment, live in the moment. I'm living a dream right now, and I'm enjoying it. That's awesome. Congratulations to you as well. And talk about tonight's game. So what can we expect? can expect a probably a sloppy game in the rain but a fun game full of a lot of speed a lot of athletes to be on the field and I just can't wait to go out there for the first time tonight okay great thank you so much and good luck to you tonight and Patrick we'll be here all morning long as well we'll continue checking in with the team we'll be live on Facebook live so head over to WSLS 10 Facebook as well where you can catch more behind the scenes what's going on here at this first and 10 kickoff and Aaron you were just talking to the new head coach there his hiring into that position has really spilled out into the community. The community is really excited for this team this year. Yeah, the community is very excited. A lot of changes here with the new head coach and a lot of excitement on the field. It all started last week, this week. Looking forward to a big game tonight as well. And they tell me as long as there's no thunder and lightning, they plan for that game to go on as scheduled. All right, good news. Aaron Brooks are live for us this morning in Henry County. Aaron, thanks so much. And, of course, we do have some games that have been uh, canceled or postponed. You'll find that full list on WSLS.com. 638 now, and as the kids have